showing you how to use a WhatsApp app on a desktop, also known as a computer or a laptop. So let's get started. So now you're going to go to any web browser. I'm going to go to Google Chrome. Then over here, you're going to type web dot WhatsApp dot com then press enter now over here you're gonna see this QR code so the next step is you're gonna go and get your phone and go into the WhatsApp app so let me show you how so now in your phone you're gonna see the WhatsApp app so click on that and then below your chat you're gonna see status calls camera chats and settings so you're gonna click on settings and then you're gonna see the second option which is whatsapp web slash desktop so you're gonna click on that and now you're gonna scan the laptop QR code to the phone so now here you go here is the WhatsApp app in your laptop. Now, I'm going to share some, some very important tips with you. So let's get started. So over here, you're going to see your logo. And beside it, you're going to see your status, new chat, which you can chat with others, and your a menu. So when you click on that, you're going to see the same things as on the phone. Now, below that, you're going to see this blue thing, which is turn on desktop notifications. That means whenever you get a message from your friends, the ring sound will come on your laptop. Now, below that, you're going to see here, search or start new chat. So you can chat with anyone. You can type their name or any particular word. So first, I'm going to type um, a name, XYZ. You'll see this over here. So then you'll see your f um, friends or family's name. Now, I'll show you um, yeah, any particular word you want to type. I'll type subscriber. So for now, subscribers, you can see that it says subscriber for any particular person that wrote it. Now, when you go way over here, you're going to see the search button. And beside the search button, you're going to see this attach button. So when you click on that, you're going to come down here and you're going to see photos and videos. So that means you can um, post any photos or videos you have. Below, it's a camera to send any picture picture you took. And now below that, you're gonna see document. So when you click on document, you're gonna see all of your documents and you can pick one, one of them to post. Now below the documents is contact. So when you click contact, you'll see many people's names. I'm gonna type X, Y, Z. Now, I'm, once I click on that, I'll see the send button. And now it says it's his or her name and their, con their contact number. Send. So you're gonna see it down here. And when you click on his or her name, you're gonna see their name and their phone number. And you're gonna see message. That means you can message them. And add to group means you can add them to another group you have. These are some very important um, tips to use for WhatsApp. I hope you guys learned some very important tips on how to using this WhatsApp app. I'll, and I'll see you next time on my channel. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to ring the notification bell for more learning and entertainment videos. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.